Student Council is a way for the students to create community within the school and kind of lets them um, you know, run the school, so to speak. It's the one thing among our clubs and activities that every kid at every grade is able to do, which is really a great way to get involved from the beginning of middle school. I thought it was just going to be more work, like just extra credit stuff, but it's really just a place where you can collab with other students to help tackle different issues. You have a lot of sixth graders, I can tell you that. Yeah, Miss Heinrichs, Miss uh, Cessna directing us. You have a lot of people like putting their voices heard through certain stuff. It gives a lot more opportunities for the students to express themselves, express their ideas, and feel heard. It helps the kids to develop pride in their school, pride in their environment because they're participating in the things that they helped to plan. I'm not just a student being told to do something here and just do work. I'm also like a part of, I'm a part of the school as a whole. So it really connects the kids to the school and keeps them engaged while they're here. At the beginning of the year we were kind of like, do we even do a student council? How does, how does this look? In a year where so many things have changed and so many things have had restrictions on whether they can run, whether they can't run, just like everybody else, the student council had to really reimagine themselves. For the most part, it's actually worked really well, and uh, the people in student council have come up uh, with some really good ideas for things to do virtually. They have all these great ideas, and they want to just have all these outreach programs and help the community and be at school and you know meet, have kids meet kids and have kids meet their teachers. But then they're like, oh wait, we can't do that; it's not safe, or we can't do you know they they kind of backpedal a little bit. But they've they've gotten creative with the virtual stuff. One of the most popular one is like Cahoots. We have Cahoots. We've had a couple of Cahoots so far. We've had a fall Cahoot, a winter Cahoot. Cahoots kind of a, I mean, most teachers I think use it as a review, but it's basically like trivia or multiple choice or true false, but then you can see all the responses on the board. So you get the live feedback. I was shocked. We had a, a holiday Cahoot. We had over 350 kids. We've also had a movie night. There were more than 100 people. I don't know that they watched the movie that much. There was just really a lot of chatter uh, among the kids, which is fine because it's exactly what they wanted to do when they got there. We just did a uh, canned food drive. The students staffed that, operated that, all volunteer, and had a drive through with the families and the community. We collected over 700 cans that could feed multiple families. They've been able to keep things afloat, promote some school spirit, have some fun days where kids get to share pictures. We've had like hot chocolate in class day and like wear a bunny hat or wear your pajamas to school day. And one Friday of the month, everyone can wear royal colors or any spirit wear that they have from the school. And then we have committees. I'm on a principal's advisory committee. The principal's advisory group is a relatively new leg of the student council. Um, the students in principal advisory just bring up problems that we see that could be fixed or ideas that we have that can make the school generally just like a better place. And that's my opportunity to connect with them pitch ideas to them in a small group. We tease things out, I hear from them. They really speak on behalf of the students. And they report out to us and tell us all the updates and different things that they planned. It helps them to develop as student leaders so that they have a voice in what we do here. They help to shape what we do here. And they know, you know, really a little bit, you know, almost as much as the faculty knows about what we're doing at the school and why we're doing it. It's definitely helped me feel a lot more involved in school and it's helped me to feel like I have a place in Drexel Hill Middle School. I've become more confident in myself like I'm not afraid to stand up for what I believe in. I'm not like afraid to disagree or agree with people like I'm, I'm more comfortable using my voice. But a lot of them just like being a part of the school community and like saying that they're giving back and helping out and it's just you can tell that they enjoy doing it and being there because they're the ones coming up with all of the ideas and actually implementing it. We're making progress slowly, but in the end, we did something for the community.